Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Kellen, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Scents of South Jersey. Um, today, I wanted to talk about a fresh summer fragrance that I just picked up. So this will be a first impression and unboxing video. Um, but I really wanted to talk about uh, just fragrance presentation in general. This particular fragrance that I'm about to show, I really, really, really like the presentation I saw online, and I think that that's a huge part of uh, why people buy fragrances, at least in my opinion, sometimes, and it depends on the fragrance. Some are more simple than others, but I think a lot of times a really good fragrance presentation can tell a story, and especially for warm season, summertime, that's why I picked this one up, and um, I know that I've definitely bought certain fragrances based on presentation, and you know, it can go either way. Sometimes it can be um, a hit, and you like it, and not only does it look cool, but it smells great, and other times it'll look great, Presentation is awesome, but you're not a huge fan of the scent, and that's definitely happened to me before with this style of fragrance, too. So this is kind of a gamble, but I'm excited for it. It's a new fragrance that, for me, a uh, new brand for me, but the scent, the note, the main note in it is something that I've tried for two different fragrances brands before. Um, both of them were buying blind buys. One I loved and wish I could still find, and one I have, and I absolutely don't like it at all, um, but they're both really fresh for the summer. So... We'll take a look at this fragrance's presentation, and then we'll open it up and see how it is. This is going to be from Royal Fragrances uh, out of Bermuda. I think they're now made in the USA. Uh, they're licensed at least to do that, and I have one of the versions that is made in the USA, but it is um, really cool, and it's called Royal Lime. So let's take a look at this box. First of all, it's in a paper packaging, and really, really cool presentation. Let's look at the front here. It says Royal Lime All-Purpose Lotion. You got an embossed, lifted paper logo there. Um, some words on the front here, so let's read this. The original royal fragrance inspired by the island of Bermuda. A refreshing aroma that combines the essence of the freshest West Indian limes with the rare essential oils to produce a cooling citrus fragrance. An aftershave lotion and body cologne for the quintessential gentleman. So uh, let's start with that, lotion. Um, and you know, what we think in, in the United States of lotion is a thick white, you know, um, goo almost that you, you know, rub on your skin. Um, but I guess the European style lotion is, is more of a splash, but they would consider that balsam or, you know, balm. And that's what the difference is. So, um, this is a body clone or aftershave. I think aftershave first, body clone second. So it's a mixture of both. So I'm going to have to guess that it's longevity is going to be, you know, your three to four hour range, but still pretty fresh too. Let's take a look at the top. It's a wax seal stamped with the Royal Lime fragrance. Um, so, so you can kind of see that, see how it's indented there. The bottom, you got um, some numbers and on the side here, you got another barcode. And on the back, it's got some more information. Um, all purpose lotion, Royal Lime is a registered trademark of Royal Fragrances LLC based out of Bermuda. And then it's just got some company info too. So it's a shame because opening this means I'm gonna have to destroy the wax seal unless I do it from the bottom. But we'll see, um, they also, have a bar soap. And again, something like this, I would imagine the longevity is not going to be tremendous. So that's why I bought this too, because I got a deal. This one looks very similar. There's not a wax seal. It just a, looks like a, a picture of one on the paper. You can still peel it off. You can sort of smell that through the, uh, the, the paper wrapping, but uh, not 100%. I'm not going to open that one. I'll save that one for later. But again, again, I love to layer fragrances with its body wash or anything else accessory wise that's additional. But 10 out of 10 on the presentation for this for me personally. I think it tells a story to me. I just look at it and I put myself on a beach in the island with a drink or Corona or something like that that is uh, feeling like I'm out in the sun and it's a fresh and I love limes and any type of you know mixed drink. Uh, so this is something that I thought sold me 100% on the, the presentation alone. So let's open it up and give it a test and we'll also take a look at the bottle too. So it looks like the wax seal actually lifts right up. I don't really want to destroy that. I'm going to open this up as gently as I possibly can. So there is some sort of box in here. So you got to open it up. It's totally wrapped from the bottom as well. Ah, see, that's unfortunate, but oh well. Wow, look at that. And again, another box in between. 
And there's a lot of writing here on the inside of the wrapper. So I'm gonna save this, because this is interesting here. Royal Lime All-Purpose Lotion. And this just goes on and on and on to say that different types of description of it and its purposes can even be used as a wash water. <laughs> this is uh, this is crazy. This is a really cool presentation here. So also strongly recommended for uh, interesting. So um, again, a lot of detail in the packaging. I would imagine that that's where the bulk of the cost of this comes because its note is just lime. I've looked that up. There's solely one note in here. It's going to be alcohol and a citrus fragrance. Um, but it looks like the money um, from the company is spent on the Cologne's presentation, which is probably why it commands a retail cost of around $75 to $100, depending. I saw some different sizes. You got a two ounce spray size, a four ounce optional spray or splash, and this is the eight ounce, and I think this is a splash. But something like this, I like to get the splash bottle. You might as well get the biggest bottle because you can apply it liberally, and that's how I utilize any type of splash cologne anytime. So again, let's take a look at this. Again, there's a red seal at the top there. Um, it's got an R for Royal, and it's just a different map of what looks like the Caribbean down at the bottom and all over the uh, the box here, too. So let's open this up and take a look at the bottle. <laughs> this thing is huge. So Royal Lime right on front, and it's got this like metal crown-shaped lid. And look at the back. Even the glass bottle is um, is got a decorative design on it, and it's a heavy-duty bottle, Royal Lime on the front, all-purpose lotion, aftershave, or body cologne. So a lot of time spent in the presentation for this bottle and, and a lot of uh, a lot of detail. So this looks really, really nice. And I, I'm sure that that's why that presentation is ramped up because I'm, I would guess that the smell is going to be pretty simple. But let's let's give it a shot here. Let's open it up. Wow. Wow, very fresh here. So I'm going to pour a little in my hand because there's no like stopper. This thing will probably come out pretty quickly. And then we'll give it a whirl here. I smell like a straight up fresh lime. Like it's like a gray goose on the rocks with lime. There's a little bit of alcohol, but that smells really good. I really like that. And this just to me screams summertime. Like you put this on right before you go to the beach or right before you go to a beach bar or anything outdoor. This is really nice. Um, I'll have to get back to everybody on how long it lasts because that I'm going to have to test out today because I'm definitely going to wear it for the first time today. But this is really, really nice. This even would make your medicine cabinet look cool too. Like this is the type of bottle that even when it's done, I'll save it and put it up somewhere as decoration because it's, it's pretty cool. Nothing much going on on the bottom here. But wow, that smells really good. And you know what? I don't think this is going to be super overpowering. I think this is going to be within projection wise, people around me, but not the cologne guy that walks in the room and everybody smells you, you know, and I like to do that too sometimes depending on the fragrance, but I think this will stick closer to the skin, but this is really fresh. And there are two other lime fragrances that I've had. And uh, one was Crabtree and Evelyn's West Indian Lime. Love that one. Very sweet, more mainstream, whereas this is a little bit more, uh, not necessarily niche, but it, it, it it's a little bit more, uh, less popular of a scent, I would imagine. Uh, again, that's my guess. And then I had another one that I sold me on the presentation, just like this one did. And that was St. John's West Indian Lime as well. And that one I did not like. Um, it had a little bit of lime, but a lot of powder. A lot of smelled like baby powder, and it didn't last long at all. This one right off the bat, I just get the fresh lime. Citrus, citrus lime, not necessarily lime. I smell some lemon in there too, but it is really, really fresh. I like this one a lot. Um, presentation, 10 out of 10 or five out of five, whatever my ratings are, whenever I decide to, to, to dictate a number. But uh, I really, really think this one is cool and it's a great fresh summer scent and it can be used as a body cologne and an aftershave. And I have a lot of uh, West Indian lime from Crabtree and Evelyn shaving stuff too, so I could probably mix that together. That's gonna be sweeter, but only the cologne would stick to you long enough, so this would definitely overpower that. Um, again, great presentation, the smell, Super fresh, not fading. Uh, I really like it. Definitely great for the daytime, casual, um, summer, beach, you know, maybe the beginning of spring, but you know, lime, I always think of summertime, outdoor, any type of barbecue or beach bar or on, on the beach, you know, no matter what, but this is really cool. I'm glad I picked this one up. Um, if you have any experience with this or any other lime fragrance or you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe again. Uh, thanks for tuning in to an episode of Sense of South Jersey. Thanks again, guys. Take care.